Hello guys, welcome back to part 29 of Fresh Women. I'm Mosquito to Kay. let's go. Well then, let's talk. What? Did you hear what you just confessed? Exactly, Sue. He told everything. No matter what he did, he deserves to know what happened. Finally. But auntie! Sue, you should leave. But... Fine. But this isn't over yet. Come on. It's time for me to tell you the truth. Where are we going? I'm just making sure there aren't any drones flying over my head. Okay, I deserve this one. You deserve to know the truth. Sit down. So, what happened was this. Shortly after the two met, Sam began to influence your landlord to make some risk investments. Your father saw this as a challenge and bought into Sam idea. But Sam was increasingly distancing himself from the investments, which in themselves were getting riskier. So your landlord was sunk into debt while Sam kept profits. Well, we all took the profits, but we didn't know that Sam was manipulating your father. They had a fight and then your landlord started acting strange. Not long after that, he disappeared. And then shortly after you started your investigation and then... There was the accident. So you really didn't know where he is? I'm sorry, Paul. But the, then he might be, still be out there. Paul, he abandoned you and your landlady. You shouldn't look for him. I want to know what happened. And if that's the case, then I want him to explain himself. I get it. Oh, one last thing. Who is this? In, is this with you in this photo. It's my last clue. I remember this photo. It was your landlady who took it. She is not a gifted photographer. There was no one with me. It was taken at your annual our annual charity ball. Charity ball? Yeah. We feel bad about what we did to your father. So every year since he disappeared, we've raised money for charity. The next one happens this week. So, this is the important event that Elisa told me about. Chloe also said this ball was important. If there is anyone who knows anything about my landlord, that's where I'll find them. Please, let's sit back down. I'm not down yet. By the way, if we're okay, I'd like you to do something for the event. I'll pay you extra for that, of course. God knows I need some extra cash for now. Of course, I'll do it. Excellent. I'll need you to make a delivery outside of town. Mm, on a bike? Of course not. You will accompany my driver. You must return the day after the ball. Not good. I promised Elisa that I'd dance with her group. But of course, I can't tell Susan about that. Actually, I can't. I already had something else planned for that night. Well, I think I can find someone else in time. Also, I think we both need some time to think about what we discussed today. Maybe it's still the best. Thank you, Susan. Well, <clears throat> I should go. Oh, yeah. Of course. Have a nice day, Paul. Hey, dipshit! What the? Yeah, you. Is it true? What is it? Do you have amnesia? That's right, she didn't know. Where did you get that? I went through Auntie's things while you two were having a chat. Didn't you? Why didn't you tell me? It's not something I go around telling people as soon as I meet them. But yeah, it's true. So you really don't remember things from your past? So it is. It's like you were born yesterday. Well, it's not really that. Have you ever learned how to drive? I don't know. Good. Hop in. What are you doing? I'm being nice. I'll take you to college. But first, I'm going to teach you a few things about driving. What? But I do not know how to. You don't know if you don't know, do you? Come again? Exactly. Come on. 
There's no one here at this time. And don't worry, I won't let you drive on the streets. I just want you to see something first. So? I can do this. Well, first you have to... Relax, I got this. So? Wow! You did everything wrong. But it was sweet of you to try. Let me... Oh. Nice. Smart ass. <laughs> so... Why are you being so nice to me out of the blue? You looked a little stressed back there. When I found out about your amnesia, I was thoughtful. I can't blame you for things you don't even remember. I don't have that right. So I decided to do something nice for you. Taking me to college? Yeah, but I'll take you somewhere else first. Auntie thinks her house was the best view out there. But I know another place. We arrived. Wow. Not bad. Come closer. What are we doing here? I usually come here to think. And I was thinking. Accidents aren't usually good, but you had a chance to start over with yours. And I know it wasn't by choice. But right now, I can choose. My parents never cared much for me. I live practically alone at home. Uncle Charlie was the only relative who has ever made me smile. So after he was gone, my parents got even worse. But maybe I made things difficult as well. That's why I wanted to forget about all this with Aunt Susan. I didn't want you to investigate her anymore. Consider it done. I've learned anything I needed from her anyway. It's nice to know more about you. But not so good things are also part of who we are. Also, I'm sorry about your parents. I had no idea they were like that. Well, it's like I'm not even here. I could take, I don't know, an elephant home and they wouldn't care. Or not as even. Oh. What if, in, if instead of an elephant, it was a person? Of course, that they wouldn't, wouldn't even see them. Why? Do you need a place to stay or something? Kind of, yeah. Oh, really? Please. It's just until I can find another place. Why? What happens to your old house? Well... In fact, I don't want to know. You're right, you can stay there with me for a few days. Oh, really? But don't get any ideas. You cook your own food and leave your things tidy. Nobody, I'm nobody's maid. Thank you, Sue. I can't take care of myself. And your parents really not going, are not going to care, right? If they see you, that's even better. I think they'd be pretty pissed off, but they won't say anything to you. Got it. And for the record, you'd make a terrible maid, you know? What? I would be a killer maid if I wanted to. Hmm. What is on your mind? Nothing. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna close the video leaving you with this pleasurable image. See you in the next video. Bye!